Chadwell leads his first Liberty Walk as Flames into their first season in Conference USA. Making the trip, the Falcons of Bowling Green out of the MAC. It is the season opener for both college football on CBS Sports Network, presented by the Home Depot. Greetings all, Chick Hernandez, along with the former Rice quarterback, Taylor McCark. All right, here's the situation. 56 new guys for Liberty, 38 new guys for Bowling Green, a lot of firsts. Well, happy first week of college football. There is a lot that's new. And, and for Liberty, first year in Conference USA, even though it's first year, they still feel like they have a chance to compete and win this conference. And on the other side, for Bowling Green, they feel like it's not just a goal to get to the postseason in a bowl game. They want to win a MAC championship. Time now for the new Project Smarter, brought to you by the Home Depot Liberty. What are we going to see? This is the offense brought by Jamie Chadwell from Coastal Carolina, and it's just the triple option out of shotgun. You've got quarterback, tailback, and pistol back behind. Quarterback's reading the defensive end. If it's a pull read, pull and run the option off of it. If it's a give read, like you see here, it's just midline. They end up with a nice chunk play. All of this is designed to create stress on the defense, and you need a mobile quarterback to do that, and that's why we see Caden Salter getting the start for Liberty. They feel like he is their best athlete and gives them the best opportunity for those chunk plays from the quarterback spot. We just found out he was a starter yesterday. On the other side, Connor Bazelak will go for Bowling Green. And this is a guy that this Bowling Green staff was excited to get. They feel like there's still a ton of upside. Coach Scott Leffler was excited about him, felt like if we just clean up his mechanics, we can get him to return to that form that he showed when he was the 2020 co-freshman of the year out of the SEC at Missouri. It is a beautiful afternoon in Lynchburg, Virginia. You take a look at the numbers. 77 degrees, just a slight win for you quarterbacks. Five miles per hour, not a big deal. Sunny and pleasant this afternoon. All right, your coaches, Bowling Green, Scott Lefter, in his fifth year at the helm. Did get the Falcons to their first bowl game since 2015 last year. And on the other side, Jamie Chadwell, who comes over, as we said, from Coastal Carolina. A successful run there, including... 2020 AP Coach of the Year. Keys to the game, Taylor McCarr. For Bowling Green, keep the ball away from Liberty. They want to control time possession. That's really been a staple of Scott Leffler's offenses at Bowling Green. Sound open field tackling. We talked about quarterback run game for Liberty and how critical that's going to be. That's really, we're going to get a first crack here with Liberty getting the ball first. That's the piece that throughout this game, again, with the offense that Jamie Chadwell has brought from Liberty, that's the most important factor for this Liberty offense and also for this Bowling Green defense to stop. So it will be Liberty ball first. From the five-yard line, here come the Flames up to the 20. Got some room right side. Tap down at the 31-yard line. Aaron Bedgood in at the kick return and gets the return of 24 yards. First down for Liberty. All right, here, look at your quarterbacks. And take a look at the coast-to-coast -coast starting lineups brought to you by T-Mobile, Caden Salter. Caden Salter had four starts last year and a couple shining moments. Also started in the bowl game against Toledo, but the staff felt like from last year when they turned on tape, there was some critical decision making that they felt like they needed to clean up, some turnovers that they're hoping he can improve on this year. Right, Quentin Cooley in the backfield to start things off. And Cooley gets the first, and he gets nothing. If you take a look at your T-Mobile starting offense for the Liberty Flames. Very good and solid up front. Jonathan Graham, one of the bell cows for that Liberty offense. So not much out of the gate for Quentin Cooley. Second and 10 now from the 29. This time the throw right side and a catch. That's Elijah Smoot on the catch. You take a look at the Bowling Green defense and their starting lineups. Elijah Smoot, the senior from Beggs, Oklahoma. Got strong hands, says that coaching staff. Third and seven now. And a little drop and got some room. And Salter up the right side. He's got room. Bounds up the, we'll call it the 35 yard line. And that is exactly what this staff was excited about in Caden Salter. Working to the field side, it's not there. He makes the quick decision, pull this down and get vertical. Focusing on the left side of the screen, 
may have actually been a quarterback draw that was designed, but they sold it so well. Looked like it was a quick game to the field. And then, again, you saw that explosive speed, get vertical, pick up a big first down, and keep this drive alive. 35-yard gain for Caden Salter. First and 10 now from the 38. Two backs in the backfield, the give right side. That's Quentin Cooley with the second carry of the game. By the way, new rule this year. And just a reminder for all you college football fans, the clock does not stop after a first down now, except for in the last two minutes of the second and the fourth quarter. And we've seen that in a few games already where it's really impacted time of possession. The clock will continue to roll after first downs. Liberty is going to use a lot of backs. Right now, Billy Lucas and Vaughn Blue in that backfield with Salter. Option right. And that's Vaughn Blue. Got some room down the right sideline. See what they call him out of bounds. Vaughn Blue. Gain of 12. And this is another look variation of that option. You've got zone read off of it. Defensive end is the pitch key right here. That is his pitch key. If he stays put, he's going to pitch off of it. So right now, Liberty rolling down here in this first quarter of play. Exactly what Jimmy Chadwell wanted. First and 10 from the 23. Yeah, not a whole lot of room. Salter now comes out of the pack. Cuts inside. Let's tackle down just inside the 12 yard line. So nice regrouping. Caden Salter, Darren Anders on the tackle for Bowling Green. And this is the option look that we talked about at the open. Also, this is why Caden Salter is starting right now at quarterback. This play is blown up, dead to rights, and he still turns this into a first down play. Uh, plus 11 on the play. It'll be first and 10 from the 13. Injured player is Jordan Porter Time for Bowling Green. He's senior out of Muskegon, Michigan. He's off. They will regroup. So timeout called. Liberty on the roll from the 13, first and 10, when we come back. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management knows it's easy to get lost in investment research. Get help with J.P. Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David, ready to get started? Work with advisors who create a plan with you and help you find the right investments. So great getting to know you. Let's take a look at your new investment plan. Okay, great. This should have you moving in the right direction. Thanks, Jen. Get ongoing advice and manage your investments in the Chase Mobile app. At FanDuel, we know how great it is to celebrate a win. And we want everyone to celebrate this NFL season. That's why we're giving away over a million dollars in prizes with FanDuel free-to-play games. So lace up those dancing shoes. Because with FanDuel, you can feel like a winner after every play. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Introducing New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Music to my ears. You don't have ears. Starry. It's different. Depend keeps you drier than ever, so you can say yes to more than ever. Yes! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Depend. The only thing stronger than us is you. Built for the guy who has everything and needs to tow it. The tow and stow is equipped with multiple ball sizes and adjusts in one inch increments to the height of your trailer for level towing. Best of all, it stows when you aren't using it, away from your shins and garage door. Machined from American steel with a two-stage finish, the tow and stow is the last hitch you'll ever need. Interceptions. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by The Home Depot. How doers get more done by Ram Trucks, built to serve, and by GEICO. For all your insurance needs, it's easy to GEICO. Liberty senior offensive tackle, 
Xavier Gadlin said the community poured into him when he was growing up, so he gives back now those photos from Robert S. Payne and Yellow Branch Elementary Schools here in Lynchburg. All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 13 for Liberty. Whistles blow quickly. We'll see what referee Jeremy Valentine has to say. As you take a look at X Gadlin, started all 13 games at right tackle last year. Every snap of last season, Taylor has been so important. This staff talked about what, what an anchor he is. Also, Jordan White coming in at the center spot. They feel like he's solidified this offensive line. And even though there's a lot of youth, they feel like they can really lean on those two. Well, so perhaps they snapped a little early. We're going to start again. First and 10 from the 13. Caden Salter. He's going to keep it himself right side. A block on that right edge. And it's knocked out of bounds. And a flag on the play. I think we're going to get a hold here as Caden Salter Works out to the outside, trying to bump this to the sideline. Got a little bit of a jersey tug. Holding. Offense number 63. 10-yard penalty. And Xavier Made Gray gets called for the hold. Apparently that's illegal. I didn't realize that. See if we get another look at it here. Be on the right side, up top. And you see that hand get outside by big 63, Xavier Gray. That's an easy call. Anytime you feel that defender start to work away from you, got to let go. They go backwards. Does Liberty now Quentin Cooley back in that backfield with Caden Salter? So first and 18 now from the 18. Over 11 minutes to go in this first quarter. Salter out of the gun. Straight drop now. Moves away left. Got a man. High catch. Knocked out of bounds at the two yard line. That's Crayon Sibley. Senior from Akron, Ohio, with the catch. Funny. I love this play design. It's a half roll. Get him out of the pocket. Just a two-man route concept. I think this this ball's down. Probably a touchdown here, but good first sort of shot completion for Caden Salter as this drive continues. Gain of 16 now. Second and goal for Liberty. Salter once again out of the gun. The give up the middle and. They call it touchdown. Billy Lucas with the score, the senior, excuse me, the sophomore from Erie, Pennsylvania, and Liberty gets on the board quickly. First drive. Don't think you could have asked for a better opening drive for head coach Jamie Chadwell in this offense and for your young quarterback, Caden Salter, getting the start. All the way down the field, fought through a little adversity with that penalty in the red zone, still punch it in for an opening score. You, know, you played four years, started four years at Rice. The opening day jitters didn't look like Caden Salter had him. No doubt. And I think the quarterback run game, like we talked about how much of a factor it would be, you saw it there on that opening drive. It'll be interesting to see what the answer is for Bowling Green to try and counter that as this game goes along. Tegan Linderink on for the extra point. It's up. That ball got tipped, but it's in. Nine plays, 71 yards for Liberty. And they're on the board first here from Lynchburg, Virginia. Good start for the Flames. They'll be on defense when we come back. Get back when you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel fitness water with Gatorade electrolytes. Today, I'm doing the Degree Gray T-shirt challenge. Let's put Degree Advanced and Old Spice to the test and see if I get any sweat marks. Final result? Only one winner here. No sweat marks. Degree Advanced keeps working when others stop. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who scans this QR code. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Scan the QR code. Don't wait. Scan the code now and ask about the Bosley Guarantee. 
At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Back here in Lynchburg, and Liberty off to a fine start, seven nothing lead over Bowling Green. As we take a look at today's Geico difference maker, Indy Charles started all 13 games last year, 10 tackles for loss. Like you see there, also on the Broncos Gursky watch list and the outlet watch list, an anchor up front on that defensive line. And Darren Anders on the other side. This was a guy that the Liberty offensive staff just had glowing remarks for. They talked a lot about him. What a they felt like he was impactful in the middle there and, and really is the anchor as a captain for that Falcons defense. Time now for Bowling Green's opportunity on the offensive side is Lenderink will make the kick. Jalen Embry back for Bowling Green. And he grabs it two yards deep in the end zone. It's going to bring it out. And he gets walloped at the 11 yard line. And they are fired up. Big hit, Elijah Hopkins with the slam. Yeah, the right side of the screen, listen to this. Bam. All the juice right now on the side of the Liberty Flames. There's Connor Bazelak. Take a look at the starting coast-to-coast -coast starting lineups brought to you by T-Mobile. Bazelak, transfer from Indiana. A lot of, playing a lot of football. He has, and there was a lot of upside again that this Bowling Green staff is excited about. He's going to throw quickly across the middle of the post pattern and up to the 27 yard lines in a first down. That's Abdul Fatai Ibrahim on the catch, a gain of 16. Nice first throw. Starting lineups there Cameron Stewart, Bell Cow, that line. This is Tyrion Stewart. Took a year off. To work on his academics and mental health now back with this backfield. Up the gut. Not much there. A gain of two. A little jolly on the tackle. We'll be able to take a look at the defensive side. Kendy Charles there. TJ Bush has been a bright surprise for this team. And it's a huge loss for Kenny Charles. We talked about what an impact player he is. He's actually inactive today. And that is a massive blow for this Liberty front seven, especially. Second down from the 30 now. Bazelak steps up, gets hit, but lets it go. That one's high, almost picked off. But the pressure put on. Bazelak had to get rid of it. That was one of the things when we talked with the Bowling Green staff that they thought Bazelak would be able to improve on from his time at Indiana. Pressure in his face. You saw there, that's a difficult throw. Somebody in his lap, but there's still a wide open receiver. You got to deliver that ball incomplete. Now, instead, it's a third and long. Third and eight from the 30. Teron Keith now in the backfield for Bowling Green. Bazelak out of the gun. That's the sidelines. We got four wide. Two and two. Slow slap. Bazelak looking left side, right side. That's going to be short and incomplete. And fourth down for Bowling Green. CJ Bazell. Get another look. See if this bounces off the turf. And I think that's exactly right. Incomplete pass. And a good start for this Liberty defense. We saw more pressure there than I think we were expecting from that unit. Really got after Connor Bazelak on that first possession. Marlon Green now back to return the punt. His first punt return. For Liberty, 9-16 to go here in this first quarter of play. That's a short kick. Green moving up. And it hits a Liberty player. That ball knocked around at the 49-yard line. It looks like Liberty will come up with it. It'll be first down for the Flames when we come back. 
Before today's game, Liberty held a moment of silence for freshman offensive lineman Tosh Boyd, who died in August at 19 years old. Boyd came to Liberty in January following a successful career at Oscar Smith High School here in Virginia. Head coach Jamie Chadwell said Boyd had a giving heart and lit up any room he stepped into. Chadwell also thanked other coaches and programs for their support and credited his players for growing closer since Boyd's death. The team will wear decals with Boyd's initials and uniform number throughout the season. From big cities to small towns and on main streets across the U.S., you'll find PNC Bank, helping businesses both large and small, communities, and the people who live and work there grow and thrive. We're proud to call these places home, too. They're where we put down roots, and where together we work to help move everyone's financial goals forward. PNC Bank. GEICO makes car insurance easy. Enjoy your flight. You too. As easy as saying the wrong thing. Me too. Really? What? Dad, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Do I look like I'm going on vacation, sir? It's not how airports work, man. You you could? Dad. Are we leaving or? I don't even want to go on vacation anymore. I thought I knew you. She has hairspray that is over the limit. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to GEICO. And you're not wearing socks. Get a grip, man. If what's coming between you and a new grill are the words, some assembly required, come to Ace, because Ace offers free assembly and delivery on your new grill. So get a Traeger wood pellet grill, a Weber gas grill, or a Big Green Egg charcoal grill. You won't find these premium brands in service at a warehouse store, only at your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock, with service so good it's guaranteed. And get free assembly and delivery on your new grill. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Introducing new buttermilk biscuits in sweet and savory flavors. So everyone can have their perfect biscuit. <laughs> or add one on the side. Get a breakfast biscuit sandwich with a side for just $7 for a limited time. Back here, you oh sure, the new era. Jimmy Chadwell, the family right there. and That's nice. You got your daughter, made a sign for you. Right now, they're off to a pretty hot start. He told us yesterday, Taylor, we'll see what happens when we get punched in the mouth. Well, they did the punching first. That's exactly right. Interested to see what the answer is, like we talked about, for Bowling Green. Is there any sort of pressure? They did not show much pressure on that first possession. All right, so first and 10 from midfield. Gaden Salter, the quarterback, the kid up the gut, right side, and the carry for Quentin Cooley. All right, take a look back here at this punt. And he was asking for a short punt, and there is Green saying, get away, get away, but he gets hit. And that's number 26, Williams. Mo Williams, right off the shoulder pad. I mean, the punt was so short, I mean, Mo Williams is doing what he's taught. He's getting away. Very fortunate for Liberty to recover that. Second and three after the gain of seven by Cooley. He remains in that backfield. Beautiful Sunday, Saturday afternoon here on the high noon start. Salter, option, keeps it himself. And gets down inside the 33 yard. Option again, working now to the left side. Defensive end just gets a little bit too far outside. Take a look right here. Gets too far outside to get to that upfield shoulder. Stick your foot in the ground and get vertical. It's a good first down run by Caden Salter. Yeah, gain of nine, Anthony Hawkins on the tackle. Uh, two back set, Quentin Cooley and Vaughn Blue in that backfield for Liberty. Salter going to throw right side, and that ball is nowhere close to Kyle Austin. Incomplete. There's the pressure that we were wondering Bowling Green was going to bring. This is a defense that historically two high safeties, not as much pressure. They play a lot of zone. But against this Liberty Flames offense with so much quarterback run game, you got to expect a seventh defender to walk down into the box and heat up this defense, or this offense, excuse me, to try and make Caden Salter uncomfortable. 
Salter two for four for 21 yards here on a second and 10 from the 34. Naked backfield. Salter, one step drop now moves to the left. Trying to create some room and knocked out of bounds. Called at the 31 yard line. Joseph Sip on the stop for Bowling Green. And this has been much better from Bowling Green up front. Defensive line with Anthony Hawkins, Ali Saad, Dontrez Brown, all of them winning up front on this possession much more than they did on the last one, forcing a third and long here. Third and seven for Liberty. The Flames again with that two-back set. We're going to see this a lot. They said they're going to use a lot of backs. Quentin Cooley and Vaughn Blue in that backfield. Either side of Salter, third and seven. Of the 31. Salter, the give. Gonna keep it himself. Nice fake. Got me inside the 30 yard line. We're getting a one yard gain there. Joseph Sip once again with the tackle. Joe Sip, this is a, a give read here. And we've got too many overhangs as this play develops. We've got two white helmets right there. To me, this would have been a give read to his running back, Quentin Cooley. All right, Taylor, fourth and six, and they're going to go for it. We're talking with the coaching staff this week. They said, not quite sure we're completely confident in our kicking game. And you see it right here, fourth and six from the 30. Salter, out of the gun. Steps up and falls down in a sack. Credit that to Bowling Green. So that fourth down did not work. Anthony Hawkins with his first sack of the 2023 season. Change of possession, perhaps a bright spot for Bowling Green. We'll see what they can do on the offensive side. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Is this your plan to watch the game today? Uh, yeah, I have to watch my neighbor's NFL Sunday ticket. It's not your best plan. Do you know what it is? My plan from Verizon. Switch now and they'll give you NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on them. This plan is amazing. Another amazing plan? Backing away from here very slowly. Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. Football season is here. Get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on us. A $449 value. Plus, get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Only on Verizon. Old Trapper Beefs. Last bag. Plenty for both of you. <laughs> Old Trapper, what's your beef? We had the best vacation. Yeah, and it was easy with the points we earned with the flagship card from Navy Federal Credit Union. I can't imagine where we'd be without them. They had the best vacation. Look at all those fish. I love our points. Yeah, me too. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Get back when you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel fitness water with Gatorade electrolytes. That's why I love bourbon barbecue wings. Wow. <laughs> That was something. Good. You didn't like it. No. Hey. I mean, I used to sing on cruises. What made you stop? Um, the cruises. Bourbon barbecue wings. Liberty's been very good the last four years, Tiller McCard. You see that their last four years, bowl games. Of course, Hugh Freeze, now the head coach at Auburn. But they've been very good. Four One straight of, bowl games. <laughs> this is that's, that's hard to do. And you could see also just with the facilities, the amount of money that this program has poured into football and the resources, Jamie Chadwell taking over in December of last year, just how impressive really it is for this, this program. And since they've moved up to FBS, they haven't missed a step. And like we talked about at the Open, they don't expect to miss a step in Conference USA in their first year either. They well, started out last year 8-1, but lost their last four. And, of course, you had the coaching change that started things. All right, Bazelak now, the flag on the play, a little busted play, he kept it himself, gets across midfield, but there is laundry on the turf. Holding, offense number 57, 
10 yard penalty. And Alex Padgett, the sophomore, with the hold. Take a look at Padgett in the middle right here. Follow this as we go. There are plays that are open for Bowling Green right now. It just hangs on a little too long. You got to let that defender go. There are plays to be made for Bowling Green right now. Missed shot on the first possession from Bazelak and a hold there, shooting themselves in the foot early. So first and 20 now for Bowling Green. Get right side, not a whole lot of room. Boy, there's the gaggle of flames who make the stop. C.J. Pazell came flying down. This is a great open field tackle as well. On the right side of the screen, take a look at number 11 right here. This is form tackle. That's exactly how you teach it. Everybody else rally to the football. Really solid open field tackling from this Liberty Flames defense. Tyrion Stewart on the carry now. Second and 20 on the no gainer. Bazelak out of the gun. Look at the toss. Left side. High into the air. And that one one handed grabbed it and call it good. That's Odu. Oh, there, hello. Hill, Hilaire, hello, 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 chick. 18 yard gain. They call him OJ. Odu Hilaire on the grab. That's 36 straight games with a catch. We talked about this guy at length wow. with the Bowling Green staff. And they could not, they could not speak highly enough of OJ Hilaire. Said he brings juice every day, practices like a pro. And man, with catches like that, he may be a pro. That's 36 straight games dating back Rolling to his the field time was a completed catch. at Alabama a and the They're going to take another look here. One-handed grab. As a quarterback, you love to see it, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. The sail route again. Bazelak missed this earlier. Trying to see, confirm the snag right there, bringing it back to his body. The right foot clearly down. I think this is more to do with this. He secure it through the possession. That, if that ball doesn't move, it's not necessarily the, less, the left foot because he had possession in that right hand. To me, this is more, that ball is not moving. That right there to me is a catch. That ball is not moving. Now they're looking at the left foot is out of bounds. But with the right hand secured, that ball is not moving and then the right foot down. To me, this is a catch. Scott Leffler waiting for the call. Guys in the booth say it's good. Yeah, now 36 catches for O.J. Hilaire, sixth best in the country. Actually now tied for fifth best mm -hmm. in the country. A guy that's been very dependable for this Falcons offense and will be a target throughout the year for Bazelak. Third most receptions in program history. Against Toledo last year. Transferred in from Alabama A&M. Actually, a big reason why Abdul Fatai Ibrahim transferred as well from Alabama AM to their starting receivers now. OJ's like, I know it's good. After review, the <laughs> ruling on the field stands as called. It is a catch. Third down. They say and, it's good. And I think they got this right. Again, it's not the left foot, it's the right foot. The ball was secure already. That, that left foot is clearly out of bounds. And the ball doesn't move once he hits the ground and he completes the catch. All right, so five minutes here in the first quarter of play. Jason Patterson in the backfield now for Bowling Green. Scott Leffler looking to see if they can return, tie this ball game up. That's Patterson. Not a whole lot of room. Might have got one. It'll be second down, Bowling Green. Interesting spot on the field here. Close to midfield. Looks like this is going to be short early decision time for Scott Leffler. Do you try and push this forward for another yard or try and play field position and pin Liberty deep? T.J. Bush on the tackle. It'll be a fourth and three. They're going to go for it. A little power eye and the referees run in. Hold on a second. Talking to Bazelak. Just wait one second. 4-10 to go in this first quarter. Jason Patterson. The deep back, but it's the up back who gets it. And Taylor, I don't think he got it. I don't think he did either. There were two Liberty defenders in the backfield almost immediately, and the offensive line got very little push here. Not a lot of lean forward. 
I thought in that lineup you may get the quarterback sneak where the fullback pushes him forward, but they did give him a favorable spot. Let's get another look wow. at this. From our reaction up here, this looked like he was short. That's Harold Fannin getting it. Pitchkin. And one over the top, and then also Chike Wonkwo. That was who I felt like disrupted that play, but first down, Falcons. The drive continues here. First and 10 on their own 46. Teron Keith in the backfield for Bowling Green. Bazelak under center, a little play action. Rolls right, the pressure being put on. He's going to throw that one away. So good pressure from Chike Wonkwo. And it'll be second down, Bowling Green. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern. Do not miss one of Europe's most heated rivalries return to the pitch as the Rangers take on Celtic in the Old Firm Derby right here on CBS Sports Network. Second and 10. What do you want to see here, Taylor? Rhythm for Connor Bazelak. That's the give. Left side. He's got some room. A lot of room down that left side. Knocked out of bounds. The 37 yard line. Teron Keith on the carry. And instead of rhythm for Connor Bazelak, I'm sure he will take a sound run game. Take a look. Just simple zone. Working off the left side. Pull the guard and tackle around. Try and get the linebackers influenced. And then a really nice open field move by Teron Keith. Breaks that tackle of Chike Wonkwo. First carry of the day for Teron Keith, plus 15. It's a good average. First and 10 from the 39. Bazelak out of the gun. Quick shot to the right. Down the 35 yard line. Abdul Fatai Ibrahim on the catch. And he doesn't make the play, but a Corey Jones coming down from the safety spot. That really disrupted this just enough for the rest of Liberty to crash down and make that open field tackle. Nice play by Corey Jones reacting quickly. This is another staple of this Bowling Green offense. The quick screens, get it out right now. Get it in the hands of your receiver and let him go make a play. Greg Carroll, transfer from Georgia Tech. Other the guys in on that stop. Second and six now from the 36. Mazelak under center. The referee's going to stop play. Out. Looks like Bowling, Bowling Green. Green will call their 30 seconds in length. timeout. Hey. OJ. Hilaire with a big catch to keep that drive alive. Second and six when we come back. We had the best vacation. Yeah, and it was easy with the points we earned with the flagship card from Navy Federal Credit Union. I can't imagine where we'd be without them. They had the best vacation. Look at all those fish. I love our points. Yeah, me too. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. All right, back here at Lynchburg. 7 0 Liberty scoring on their first drive, but now Bowling Green trying to punch back. Taylor McCarg, Chick Hernandez coming to you from Lynchburg, Virginia. Second and six from the 36 for Bowling Green. Or Bazelak. Straight drop. Gonna go left up top. That one's out of bounds. Never catchable. And if you're Scott Leffler, you're gonna be frustrated at this throw from Connor Bazelak. Liberty's giving you man look. It's just man defense, press coverage to the top. You see right there. And OJ Hilaire, it's a double move. Give him a chance. There, now there's good coverage here. Right, Kobe Singleton in coverage is in a good spot. But if you've got a receiver, you saw the one-handed catch a second ago, as talented as O.J. Hilaire, give him a chance. Connor Bazelak, that sails, goes out of bounds. No chance for O.J. Hilaire to make a play. Kobe Singleton loves that one-on-one. -on -one. He says it kind of embraces it. Third and six from the 36. Bazelak, little screen. That one gets bunched up, incomplete. Liberty with a nice defensive play. Chris Body. But there's a flag on the play here at the 35-yard line. Could be an illegal man down. Oh, we got a face mask against Bowling Green. Referee Jeremy Valentine on the call. Longtime veteran official. Two minutes and nine seconds to go here in this first quarter of play. Personal foul, face mask, offense number 53. 15-yard penalty, remains third down. Tunde Patukasi. 
on the grab. And Fatukasi is the guard right here that releases out on this screen. Take a look right here. Now we miss it, but he gets that left hand out. The defender is in the way of really where the screen was going, and so it drew the official's eyes right to it. Back all the way up to midfield now. Oh, third and 21 for the Falcons. Bazelak from the gun. Straight drop. Going up the left side. That one knocked away. What a tremendous defensive play. That is Jerome Jolly. The free safety spot. It's the linebacker making that move. Jerome Jolly looks like he's playing center field. Just single high safety. Watching the quarterback's eyes. Works all the way over to the field side to make a play. And a big stand for Liberty to get off the field. Now, how huge was that penalty? Once again, looking for O.J. Hilaire. Bowling Green will punt Bryland Green back now for Liberty. Sammy Sir, your punter for Bowling Ball Green. Start. Flag on the play. Offense number two, five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Two minutes and three seconds to go here in this first quarter of play. Scott Leffler and a nonplussed with the penalty. It's interesting early in this game, Liberty with more than 50 guys on the roster. Bowling Green, a little more veteran team, but it looks like Liberty's playing more clean football than, than Bowling Green is. They're the ones with penalties and other play that's shooting themselves in the foot right now. Sammy Sir with a low line drive from his 35 and a fair catch call by Bryland Green. And it'll be Liberty Ball. Let's take a look at the AP Top 10 powered by Ram Trucks, Taylor Carr. Really excited for this LSU Florida State game tomorrow night. That is one I think everybody should have circled. Also, Washington, Boise State, they're at the bottom. That's a team, Boise State, they're, they're not afraid to go play any of the big boys. I think some of the biggest upsets in college football the last 20 years have involved Boise State. Back here, oh, the fellas have come painted. That's nice. The Jokers are in. First and 10 from the 13. Billy Lucas in the backfield. That one almost caught. Well, Aaron pass there from Salter intended for Trayon Sibley. Sails just a little bit. You got to be careful here on quick game. This ball gets away from Caden Salter. Lucky that wasn't an interception. Salter misses his second pass here in this early going. Two for four for 21 yards. But he's also got seven carries for 50 yards for Caden Salter. Lucas and Blue now in that backfield for Salter. Second and ten. Motion. And Salter's going to keep it himself. Gets walloped down there to the 21-yard line, but a good gain from Caden Salter. And the play design is nice, utilizing motion to get one of those running backs. They line up, again, like we talked about, tailback, pistol back behind. They motion out the tailback, gets a linebacker to flow with it, and then quarterback draw in behind it. They're trying their best. Liberty is to clear out the box anytime they're running Caden Salter between the tackles. Third and one for the Flames. Salter out of the gun. The motion is back. Vaughn Blue to his right. Well, option right. Gets hit and falls forward. That's a first down for Liberty. So nice really, keeper. Sorry, Chick. Really impressed early with Caden Salter and his decision making. Third and short. A little bit of a soft edge there to the weak side. Feels like, look, I can get physical, lean forward, and pick up that yard. We talked about it with the coaching staff, so coach told the two quarterbacks who was going to start, Caden Salter or Jonathan Bennett, the senior, and then revealed it on Thursday after practice. Little pitch left now. That's a fine defensive play. Vaughn Blue on the carry, but Davon Ferguson on the stop. This was a guy that Bowling Green defensive staff raved about in our meetings with them and it's an excellent open field tackle if he doesn't make that play this is out the gate another chunk play on offense really solid open field tackling by davon ferguson we got second and 12 and we're going to come up to the first quarter end here 
from Lynchburg, Virginia. So one quarter in the books, and right now it is Liberty with a 7-0 lead. It's the end of the first quarter. When we come back, it'll be second and 12. Liberty with a chance to extend their lead. Second quarter coming up. College football on CBS Sports Network is presented by the Home Depot. Jump into this week's unforgettable moments, electrifying action, and pure football passion with the Inside College Football Team on CBS Sports Network. Get help reaching your goals with J.P. Morgan Wealth Plan, the digital money coach in the Chase mobile app. Use it to set and track your goals, big and small, and see how changes you make today could help put them within reach. From your first big move to retiring poolside and the other goals along the way, Wealth Plan can help you get there. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Get back what you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel Fitness Water with Gatorade electrolytes. Today, I'm doing the Degree Gray T-shirt challenge. Let's put Degree Advanced and Old Spice to the test and see if I get any sweat marks. Final result? Only one winner here. No sweat marks. Degree Advanced keeps working when others stop. Look like there's a flag. Mike, I can't keep up with you. You're racing around like you're 10 years younger. How do you stay in such great shape? Eugenics Total T, Ed, helps me stay leaner, stronger, and gives me back to the energy and stamina I had when I was younger. How'd you hear about no jazz? You kidding? You haven't seen Frank Thomas and Doug Fleet talk about it? Middle on 40, get Eugenics Total T and get back on your game. Tell them to send a text. Send a text. To get your complimentary bottle of Eugenics Total T, text gold. To 231 231. This unique man boosting formula is powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically validated to help increase free testosterone levels so you can trim up and stay lean. Hey, Ralph, aren't you forgetting something? It's your lucky too. Get your complimentary bottle of Nugenix now. Text bold to 231 231. Text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, absolutely free. So I had to quit college to help my mom, but I never wanted to quit my dream of a career in IT. On Coursera, you can earn Google's IT Support Professional Certificate. No prior experience needed to enroll. My job now is amazing. Join for free at Coursera.org. You got me. Hey, you're it. Imagine a world with no drama, where the guarantee of high-quality promotional items delivered on time go to 4imprint.com. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. What's your beef? By PNC Bank. Rooted in communities big and small. And by Sonic 399 Bacon Peppercorn Ranch Grilled Cheeseburger. For a limited time, only at Sonic. 2024 College Football Hall of Fame divisional candidate Andre Young from Bowling Green. Played in the late 70s, early 80s. Kodak Division I, AA All-American. Drafted by the Bengals in 83. Played for the Packers. Currently owns a home improvement company in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Here. Second and 12. Liberty and Salter. Going to keep it himself on the scramble up past the 25-yard line for Caden Salter. Numbers in the first quarter. Two to one time of possession for Liberty and for Bowling Green. It was one step forward, two steps back. It was a penalty, it was an overthrow, it was pressure on Connor Bazelak. And then for Liberty, really, I felt like a very clean first quarter and, and really impressive from Caden Salter. Well, Salter's got a third and seven now from his own 28, naked backfield. He's got trips left, motion now back. Get out, get out. Salter, pressure, steps up, going to keep it himself. And he gets rocked just over the 36 yard line. Fails to get the fourth first down. David Davion Mayo on the tackle for Bowling Green. Two carries back to back by Caden Salter. This one 
if you're a Liberty fan, you kind of would hope that he would get down right here. Don't need to take that shot right in the face. Forces a Liberty punt. So it'll be fourth down. Bowling Green, Jalen Embry back with Max Morgan punting. Near his 20-yard line, Embry standing at the 23. Kick from Morgan. Bearcats called at the 26-yard line by Emory. We come back. Bowling Green ball. Can they get the stutter step done? We'll find out. At FanDuel, we know how great it is to celebrate a win. And we want everyone to celebrate this NFL season. That's why we're giving away over a million dollars in prizes with FanDuel free-to-play games. So lace up those dancing shoes. Because with FanDuel, you can feel like a winner after every play. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. ahead starts with what's behind you. B&W Trailer Hitches. Towing Adventure. Mass General Brigham. When you need some of the brightest minds in medicine, this is a leading healthcare system with five nationally ranked hospitals, including two world-renowned academic medical centers. In Boston, where biotech innovates daily and our doctors teach at Harvard Medical School, and the physicians doing the world-changing research are the ones providing care. There's only one Mass General Brigham. Get back what you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel Fitness Water with Gatorade electrolytes. That's why I love bourbon barbecue wings. Wow. <laughs> that was something. Good. You didn't like it. No. Oh, hey. I mean, I used to sing on cruises. What made you stop? Um, the cruises. Bourbon barbecue wings. This weekend on CBS, week one of the college football season kicks off in a big way. Four games over two days beginning today at 3.30 Eastern with the Big Ten action between number three Ohio State and Indiana. Primetime, Texas Tech takes on Wyoming. Then on Sunday, noon Eastern, more Big Ten football, Northwestern Rutgers, followed by 18th-ranked Oregon State and San Jose State. College football season begins in a big way this weekend on CBS. The Buckeyes, the Ohio State Buckeyes, with the Taylor Carr. It's a powerhouse, to say the least. Tons of success, but I'll tell you what, those Buckeye fans, all they care about now, getting back at Michigan after back-to-back -back losses in that rivalry. All right, first and 10 from the 26. Terion Stewart on the carry, left side. Going to gain a couple. As you said, we'll see what Bowling Green does. It's been a, a very uh, jumpy start. They just haven't found rhythm, right? One step forward, two steps back. And also want to see the offensive line play improve a little bit. I think Bazelak has had more pressure than they would have liked to see early in this game. And sometimes it's not even with pressure. A lot of times it's really just been with Liberty rushing four out of their base defense. 38 starts on that offensive line by Alex Padgett at your center position. Second and eight now. Bazelak right side into the slot just over the 30-yard line. Tyron Dupree on the stop. Jalen Embry on the catch for Bowling Green. Another good open field tackle by Tyron Dupree, one of the captains. I loved how this defensive staff described him. They said, we go as he goes. He is our heart and soul, our bell cow. He showed it right there with a good open field tackle. Third and five from the 30 now. Bazelak from the gun. Looks to the sideline. One more check. Pressure look here from Liberty. We'll see if they bring it. Four come in right up the gut. And that one is a quick throw. Had to. Because the pressure was coming. They bring Brian Whitehead from the joker position. And this is right up the middle. I got to question what the protection was for Bowling Green. To me, this either needs to be the Mike linebacker or your running back should be responsible. 
interesting that he comes untouched and really forces that errant throw. Another three and out off the field for Bowling Green. So, Brylon Green back to return at his own 25 yard line. Sonny Sir on the punt for Bowling Green. That a low line guy. Boy, he just got a little wedge shot. Sculled it. That one returnable. Taken down at the 33 for Brylon Green. So, nice hands from Green on the recovery. We got four coming your way. Today, I'm doing the Degree Gray T-shirt challenge. Let's put Degree Advanced and Old Spice to the test and see if I get any sweat marks. Final result, only one winner here. No sweat marks. Degree Advanced keeps working when others stop. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all-new bonus chicken wings. Juicy all-white meat chicken, lightly breaded and baked to a crispy golden brown. Try them with our new zesty sauce. Find our new bonus wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who scans this QR code. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Scan the QR code. Don't wait. Scan the code now and ask about the Bosley Guarantee. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Right back here, seven nothing lead for the Flames of Liberty. Impressive response from this Bowling Green defense. Early, they give up a score off the quarterback run game primarily, and then you've seen in the last couple series, good open field tackling, really sound in their assignments. And again, this is gonna be critical for Bowling Green all game. Good with their eyes and then good open field tackling, especially with as much man defense as they're playing. And Demetrius Hardeman, as you see there, second on the team in sacks and tackles for loss and a preseason all-MAC player. He has been a big factor as well. He's the leading sack man in the MAC returning. Salter now, left side, got some room. Up to the 45-yard line, C.J. Daniels with the catch. The guy who's been banged up here recently, but the coaches said, hey, he's good to go. Yeah, that's exactly right. Coach Chadwell, when we saw them yesterday for the walkthrough, talked about, this is awesome for us that C.J. Daniels is finally back healthy really in the last week and a half got him back to practice and you see what a factor he is for them on the outside gain of 11 on the first down now Cooley and blue in the backfield for Salter from the 45 quick sidearm shot Salter brings it up down the right sideline that's a nice catch and run Aaron Bedgood it's one of the Coastal Carolina transfers that followed Jamie Chadwell here to Liberty if you notice, look at all of the bodies close to the line of scrimmage. Also, love this sidearm delivery. He's got a defender in his face. Work that around the defender. That's what, when you hear people talk about arm talent, what does that mean? To me, it really means can you throw from different slots? Over the top, can you get it around a defender? That was a good example of it there from Caden Salter. Gain of 19, first and 10 from the 36. Salter, 4 of 6. Check that, 4 of 6 for 51. Give now. Oh, got some room. Down inside the 22-yard line. Quentin Cooley on the carry. The junior from Bailey, North Carolina. Gain of 14. Love the vision here. This is coming right at you. He sticks that right foot in the ground and boom, work the backside cut and stay vertical. This is 
a guy that Liberty, they feel like their most physical runner when they run the option. A lot of times he's out of the pistol where he's going to be running that midline right at you. Really, really good player between the tackles. I said he's, he's angry all the time in practice, sometimes needs a hug, but he also runs angry. You saw a little bit of that right there. First and 10 from the 23, and he gets it again. Right side kind of falls down just short of the 20-yard line. Darren Anders on a tackle for Bowling Green. It's been interesting on this drive. You've seen a lot of those quick completions to the far outside. Bowling Green has so many bodies close to the line of scrimmage. You're just getting man defense on the outside. The answer there for Bowling Green, you have got to tackle well because there's no help. They're in man-to-man -man defense. Second and eight from the 21. Noah Frith, most experienced wide out, wide left, two in the backfield for Liberty. Stoppage in play. Referee's going to blow the whistle. First charge timeout. Liberty. Timeout call. 9.53. Coming back and Liberty punch it in. The Jersey Mike's catering box is the easiest way to feed your friends. The hard part is picking your sub. That's why we're having a draft. With the first pick, Sarah from Carolina selects number 13, the original Italian. You know, I trusted my gut, and uh, that's exactly where the sub's gonna go, so. Hold on, we've got a trade. Jake traded his second pick with me, because <laughs> I'm star. Freshly sliced subs to go, wherever you and your friends go. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. You're so much more than just a landowner. You're a gardener. A groundskeeper. A landscaper. Because you didn't settle for ordinary. Same goes for your equipment. Versatile, powerful, durable Kubota equipment. More goes into it, so you get more out of it. Get back what you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel Fitness Water with Gatorade Electrolytes. You want to be like me? Well, you can't because there's only one brand. But you can recover like me. Always. Every day. They can help you recover from exercise to keep you prime. You want to stay prime, right? Sunday, our NFL on CBS Super Bowl season kicks off with a week one doubleheader. Early games are headlined by the Battle of Ohio between the Bengals and the Browns. Later, the defending NFC champion Eagles take on the Patriots. We can't wait for next Sunday in the NFL on CBS. Malik Willis, a guy who's known in these parts, done pretty well for himself. He had a great training camp and solidified that backup spot in Tennessee. Tennessee drafted Will Levis. It looked like maybe... Malik is on his way out, but really a solid training camp, and anything happens to Ryan Tannehill, that's going to be the guy there in Tennessee. All right, second and eight from the 21 for Liberty. Salter in the backfield with two. A little option right, now to step up and throw. Got a man down the right sideline. Did he get his feet in? Austin Henderson, the big tight end, and they're going to say out of bounds. First time we've seen passing game off of the option. Man, that is close. That left toe tap just a few inches out of bounds. Won't be the last time we see that from Liberty, where they sell option one way or another, and then there's downfield passing off of it. Anderson, 6'5", 250, the junior. Third and eight now for the 21. Salter looks left, and it swings it. A little sidearm shift up. And to the 12-yard line, will they give him a first down? It's Vaughn Blue on the catch. Really like the blocking on the outside from number 21, Trayon Sibley. That's what is most important on the screen game. Get in front of your guy, lock that down, gives you a chance 
you can't block on the perimeter, you can't throw a screen game. Picks up another first down and keeps this drive alive for Liberty. So first and 10, number 13. Quick Cooley in the backfield for the Flames. CJ Daniels moves in, and that's Cooley. Gonna bounce around. Stopped at the we'll call it the 12-yard line for Quentin Cooley to stop Joseph Jr. Joseph, when we asked Bowling Green, hey, who do you feel like is your most violent player? Who's gonna come down and really put a lick on somebody? That's who they all simultaneously lit up and said, it's Joseph, no doubt. We've had to tell him to throttle it back sometimes in practice against our own guys. Yeah, I ran him off the bus. He punched me. So that wasn't <laughs> wasn't very kind. Second and ten now. From the 12, Salter out of the gun. Blue in the backfield. Salter going to go to Blue. Got a man, and Blue catches. Will he keep hold of it? He does. Touchdown. Vaughn Blue on the catch. The nice toss from Salter. Great throw and catch. Love the play design as well. And for Caden Salter, this is a delicate little throw. It's underthrown, chance for an interception. Throw it too far, it's going out of the back of the end zone. And look at the touch on this. Really delicate, drop it in the basket. Good concentration there to bring it down by Vaughn Blue, a guy that they said, hey, look, we wanted to redshirt this kid. He's too good for us to keep him off the field. We had to play him as a freshman. But Darren Anders was there, but that throw was absolutely perfect. Tegan Lendering now on for the extra point. Sophomore from Belmont, Michigan. Kick is up. It is good. And Liberty out to a 14 0 lead. And Vaughn Blue, the back, little wheel route out of the backfield. Perfect throw from Salter. Perfect hands from Blue. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management knows it's easy to get lost in investment research. Get help with J.P. Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David, ready to get started? Work with advisors who create a plan with you and help you find the right investments. So great getting to know you. Let's take a look at your new investment plan. Okay, great. This should have you moving in the right direction. Thanks, Jen. Get ongoing advice and manage your investments in the Chase Mobile app. There you go! That's what I'm talking about! Is this your plan to watch the game today? Uh, yeah, I have to watch my neighbor's NFL Sunday ticket. It's not your best plan. You know what it is? My plan from Verizon. Switch now and they'll give you NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on them. This plan is amazing. Another amazing plan? Backing away from here very slowly. Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. Football season is here. Get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on us. A $449 value. Plus, get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Only on Verizon. Get back when you put in. Gatorade electrolytes in every drop. Propel Fitness Water with Gatorade electrolytes. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all-new boneless chicken wings. Juicy all-white meat chicken, lightly breaded and baked to a crispy golden brown. Try them with our new zesty sauce. Find our new bonus wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Back here in Lynchburg and Liberty out to a 14-0 lead. A precise offensive drive there for the Flames. Caden Salter finding Vaughn Blue for the score. We'll see what Bowling Green can do. They've been struggling. The first play of their series, a 17-yard gain. Also had an 18-yard play. Other than that, 14 plays have netted just 28 yards. So Scott Leffer looking for some offense. Jalen Embry back for Bowling Green. From his one, here comes Green. Excuse me, Embry up to the 22-yard line and put down. It'll be first and 10. Bowling Green. 
Here's another look at the touchdown a second ago. If you look in the middle of the screen, look how wide open that is. There's no single high safety, and this is just Liberty taking advantage of it. You get a running back on a linebacker. Take that every time for Liberty. Can't say enough about the throw, how accurate it was, and from Vaughn Blue, the focus to bring that down for the touchdown. Love the play design and the execution from Liberty. They played 66 yards in just under four minutes for the Flames out to a 14-0 lead with 8.13 to go here in this first half of play. Now for Bowley Green to try to have an answer. Bazelak with the give up to Jason Patterson. We'll give him two yards on the carry. And Chick, you touched on this lack of success in the last few series. To me, that just comes down to defensive line from Liberty. They're winning at the point of attack, point of attack, both in the run game and getting after Connor Bazelak. Second and seven, the 24. Left side, nothing given as Chris Body puts his body all over Bowling Green. And if it hadn't been Chris Body, he's got help coming unblocked from the boundary side. And you've also got Tyron Dupree getting in the mix as well. That quickly, it's third and eight for Bowling Green in search of some positive offense. Bazelak out of the gun. Third and eight. One in the backfield. Straight drop. Bazelak. Got some time. Flag on the play. That one picked off. Here comes Liberty. Other side. Returning to 10. The 5. And in for the score. Kobe Singleton. The touchdown for Liberty. That's a 34-yard pick six. We'll see what the flag says. It looks like Liberty now. Jumping all over Bowling Green. Get a look here at what this flag is. This is a poor decision and an even more poor throw for Connor Bazelak. Kobe Singleton was there at overthrow. And the referees say a chop block. Foul. Chop block. This touchdown is good. Offense number six. 76 and number 10. That quickly. That 15-yard penalty will be assessed in the kickoff. With three touchdowns. Touchdown to Liberty. Let's we'll see if we get another look at it. Again, a really poor decision from Connor Bazelak. I love the Joker mask. They're running crosses. And from the left side of your screen, this over route is wide open. Forces this to the boundary side of the field. It looked like Connor Bazelak had almost like he had tele telegraphed it. He was locked in there. That's where he was going with the ball all the way. And a huge play from Kobe Singleton for the pick six. Linderink with the extra point, and we've got ourselves a 21 to nothing ball game here in this first half. Bazelak, some issues here early on. Well, they've got crossers coming from both sides of the screen. The over round, you see the chop block get thrown right there. This is covered. This is really covered. I mean, this is a, a really poor decision. And if you're going to throw it there, it's got to be low and away. You can't throw this high. It's going from bad to worse for the Falcons. This is the all-22 here. So on the boundary side, look running right there at the top of the screen at the hash marks. That's the guy that the ball needs to go to to the field. Like I said, it looked like just pre-snap. Bazelak had focused in to the boundary side, going there all the way. And Liberty takes advantage. Kobe Singleton was sitting back there, and you could almost see him salivate with that ball overthrown. Gets the pick six. So now the penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. And Liberty will kick from the 50-yard line. With 6.51 to go here in this first half. Jalen Embry will be back for Bowling Green. You have to wonder now, because Connor Bazelak right now, Taylor, 4 of 11 for 42 yards. And I know they want to stay with one quarterback, but Camden North, who was there in that quarterback battle, sitting there, the senior from Gainesville, Florida. You have to wonder. A little squib kick. Tenderly. That one gets away. Ball down at the two-yard line. Who got it? It'll be Bowling Green ball, but that's a tremendous play by the kicker. Nice little squib kick. And it worked to perfection. They got that short hop like you want on an onside kick back when it got to the returners. And this another is look. Just like when you get an onside kick. Takes one hop in the middle, and then this hop right here. 
straight underneath Keith, just like you would want on an onside kick. Fortunate Bowling Green is that they dove on top of this, but now the field position back all the way up after throwing a pick six. That is Max Morgan on the squib kick, and he did it to perfection. So first and ten from their own two, and in trouble is Bowling Green. Bazelak, little fake up top. That one picked off as well at the 26 yard line. Back to back interceptions for Liberty. And that's another mistake for Connor Bazelak. Defense coming alive, especially in this secondary. Brylan Green from the star spot. It's a good play action fake, but you don't have to just throw this up. If it's not there, you got to know when to get rid of it. More pressure in Bazelak's face. And Brylan Green is playing center field. He's staying home the entire time. They did not bite on this fake. Good job going up, high pointing the ball and securing it. And man, it is getting going from bad to worse for this Bowling Green offense. Joseph Carter was in Bazelak's face as he let that one go. The pressure put on. Pressure burst pipes as they say and right now Bowling Green is bursting so first and 10 from the 25 for Liberty give right side Billy Lucas on the carry will give him a gain of call it one right now it's all Liberty here on their home turf and on the other side for Bowling Green I, I do think this is where the conversation certainly at halftime will come up is there a change? Do we see Camden Worth come in, a guy that played really well for them in relief last year in the bowl game against New Mexico State? Bazelak, early in the game, I thought, started playing well, but the back-to-back -back interceptions have been killers for Bowling Green. Now, as you know, as a quarterback, you don't really look over your shoulder, but if you're not playing well, at some point, a move has to be made. Second and nine now, Salter. Oh, that one dropped right in the hands and dropped. That was Aaron Bedgood who had it. This is one of the things, when you watch tape of Caden Salter from last year, that needs to still work on a little bit this ball is coming in hot on a hitch route and when you've got your inside receiver they're pretty close to you there is something to having a little bit of touch and finesse and putting it on your guy where it's catchable so third and nine now for liberty salter out of the gun and we've got movement amongst the big fellas. And the Liberty staff is upset. They wanted this to be a free play and take a shot. Upset that the refs blew this play dead. Referee, Jimmy Valentine. Little chat. Offside, defense number 60, entering the neutral zone. Let's cause the false start. Brown Five yard penalty, third down. Offside, the senior from Fremont, Ohio. Haven't seen much hard count. You see the clap there. That's the silent hard count from Liberty. Get a cheap five yards. So it'll be third and four now for Liberty. 5.58 to go here in this first half of play. Caden Salter has been very efficient for Liberty. Six of ten for 71 yards. 11 carries when leading the way on the ground for the Flames. 70 yards. And, of course, his defense has gotten the ball back twice. Turnover central for Bowling Green. Third and four. Salter. Well, another sidearm toss. That one looks like it was tipped. Intended for Elijah Smoot. Demetrius Hardiman might have got a hand on it. We talked about Caden Salter and having that arm angle bragging on it earlier. This time, I think having that sidearm delivery is why you saw the ball get tipped. Interesting decision here for Liberty to kick this. Chick, you touched on it earlier. When we talked to Coach Jamie Chadwell, he said, look, we've had some issues with kicking this camp. We may go for it more than you'd expect. Well, Linda Rink on the kick. It's be a 36-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. So everything going right now for the Liberty Flames. Up with a 24 to nothing lead over Bowling Green. Their first season at Conference USA. That first quarter felt pretty evenly matched, and really since then, this second quarter has been dominated by the Liberty Flames. Benefited, obviously, from the turnovers. This touch throw from Caden Salter was really impressive, and he's gotten it going throwing the football. We get a look also at these turnovers. 
Connor Bazelak, back-to-back possessions, four decisions. This one, there was an open receiver to the other side of the field and a great play on the back end for Kobe Singleton. Second quarter, all Liberty Flames. We'll see what adjustments Bowling Green can come up with. There's Jamie Chadwell in his first year at Liberty. Very successful coach at Coastal Carolina. And now, first year head coach, first time in the Conference USA. We'll see if uh, Connor Bazelak stays here. We talked with the coaches yesterday. Scott uh, Leffler told us that both his quarterbacks, Camden North and Connor Bazelak, very good friends, get along. They took the news well that Connor Bazelak was going to be the starting quarterback. He also said he and Kick Brian Greeson when they were in Michigan, they didn't the get along team. at all. The ball be placed to the these two guys yard do. Line. It doesn't First always go down that way. As you see the last five possessions, three punts and then two turnovers. This is certainly Scott Leffler and his staff, not what they expected or hoped for in this first half. And, but you're exactly right. These quarterback competitions that we see more and more around the country in this transfer portal era, it's great when your guys, you feel like they get along and obviously they're going to compete their tails off and only one of them gets to play. But you hope that it's not toxic in the crew yeah. like it was for Leffler when he was a player at Michigan. You didn't have to worry about it. You were a four-year starter at Rice. You never, <laughs> you didn't have any competition. And I got along with all my teammates. Sure you did. All right, it's 5.28 to go in this first half. I know that you did. <laughs> Bazelak on the give. Up the gut, positive yards for Bowling Green. A spinner, that's Tyrion Stewart now. That's their best positive experience here in this first half. That's exactly what they needed after the back-to-back -back turnovers. Maybe look for a, a shot play at midfield as we've got a, a Flames player down. It's a gain of 15 for Stewart. As staff come out to take a look at the injured player. Really solid from this offensive line, and that's the unit that I think, along with quarterback and, and decision making offensive line plays got to improve for Bowling Green to have a chance to get back in this game good run by Terry on Stewart for Bowling Green at midfield a first Please down the game clock. this is Five where minutes and 32 seconds 532 this is where you look for a shot play some sort of play action take a some sort of downfield passing take your shot try and get a chunk play it's been really difficult for Bowling Green these long sustained drives where they're sort of trying to chip away they're not having success doing it. You really need those chunk plays, 20, 30-yard type of plays in order to have success. Marquise Bell, the injured flame, as he will go off to the sideline. Well, you need some positive from Connor Bazelak. Four of 12 for 42 yards in the two picks. And especially going into half. If they could get some sort of points going into half, that would be huge for Bowling Green. So first and 10 from midfield. Bowling Green searching for something here. On the offensive side, give up the middle. And more yards, turning past the 30, stays on his feet to the 30-yard line. That's Tyrion Stewart once again with a big game for Bowling Green. That's a game of 20. You don't need to worry about the downfield passing game if you're ripping off 20-yard gains right up the middle. This opens up, pulling again. Almost looks like the exact same play, just working to the right side now. And love the physical running style for Terry on Stewart, a guy that was out for last year. They're happy to have him back. And Stewart again, left side, and running angry. His rap name is The Bully, and he's running like a bully right now. He is, and we saw him in pregame warm-ups. The, the runner was down before the ball came loose. It's second down. Saw him in pregame warm-ups. He's just 5'9", but 225 pounds. Runs like we had an old coach say, runs like a rolling ball of butcher knives. Don't want to get in <laughs> his way. Gets that head of steam going downhill, and they've certainly leaned on him on these last three plays, marched all the way well into Liberty territory. That's a horrible picture you just painted, by the way. <laughs> a rolling ball. You of don't want to tackle that, do you? Out. No, you don't. Second and four from the 24. Tayshawn Wimbley now in the backfield for Bowling Green. And Wimbley going to get it. He's got some speed. Cuts through down to the 13-yard line for Tayshawn Wimbley, the senior out of Toledo, Ohio. This offensive line group has answered the bell here on this possession getting a hat on a hat, winning at the point of attack, and then the running backs, really solid running coming in behind it, both from Terry on Stewart and Payshon Wimberly, who is also huge for them in special teams. Look for 30 on that unit as well. And a 13 for Wimberly. First and 10, whistles blow, and a timeout called. Second charge timeout. Liberty, 30 seconds so in late. Flames called timeout. So some positives here for Bowling Green. 
as you said, just before the first half. Take a look at the preseason media pool. Liberty, new coach, picks second. And that's what's so interesting. Over 50 new faces on this roster, but in this new look Conference USA, clearly one of the favorites. I think you've got some of the new teams that have bumped up in Jacksonville State and Sam Houston from the FCS level. UTEP, we saw how they performed in week one, same for New Mexico State. I think Western Kentucky and Liberty, I think those are your two clear favorites. Interesting to see how Middle Tennessee looks early in the season. They certainly had a test today against Alabama. But Liberty and Western Kentucky, I think, are ahead above most of the rest of this group. Jimmy Chadwell said, we've got a bunch of new guys. 80% of my lineup are new guys. Haven't played it down. That's a lot. First and 10 for the 14. Bazelak, two in the backfield. Little pitch right. He's got room down the left side. Into the end zone. And Bowling Green to Ron Keith with the carry and the score. And Bowling Green on that leaderboard. And he gave Liberty a dose of their own medicine. Zone read with option coming off of it. And that is the exact response that Bowling Green needed. Finally, a good sustained drive. A couple chunk yardage plays in the run game. All of this was on the run game. Look again. Zone read, pitch off of it. Good timing there. And some open field running by Teron Keith. Really good possession there from Bowling Green. So the junior from Deland, Florida. Five plays, 65 yards for Bowling Green. Got to feel good now with a little positivity from the offensive side. Alan Anaya now on for the extra point. Pick it up. And it is good. And Bowling Green with a touchdown and extra point. Let's take a look at the blocking on the outside. Really sprung this loose. On the outside, this is so critical. Once you get past that initial level, you've got to have good blocking, especially there from Abdul Fatai Ibrahim and then also O.J. Hilaire getting back in the mix. Misses the block initially, but has that good second effort to spring to Ron Keith loose. For momentum for Bowling Green, still clearly a lot of work to do for them to get in this game. But they had struggled and sputtered for the entire first half for the most part. They didn't throw the ball once on that possession. They kept it on the ground, chipped away, a couple good 20, 15-yard type of carries. I think that's the confidence you hope that that offensive line unit can carry with them into the second half. Leffler has to go back to Teron Keith, the guy who was number one in team rushing, 12th in the MAC last year with 1,004 all-purpose yards. He's a guy who's multiversal. Just one of nine players in the NCAA to have a rushing touchdown, receiving touchdown, special team touchdown. Also scored a two-point conversion, so he can do it all. Victor Venn now back. And Aaron Bedgood back to return the kick from Bowling Green. Got on the board, a 24-7 game here with 3.36 to go in this first half of play. Low liner. Bedgood, two yards deep in his end zone, right side. That one, not some room. He's got some room down that left. There we go. Bedgood, out to the 35-yard line. Nice return from Bedgood. Puts Liberty in a good spot. Coming up on the Ram Trucks Halftime Report, Adam Zucker, Rick Neuheisel, and Brian Jones have scores, highlights of the Week 1 Early Games, plus a preview of the Big Ten opener between the Ohio State and Indiana later today on CBS. We'll see how Liberty now responds. Leffler has to be a little bit more pleased, at least with that offense. We're talking about already momentum of the second half. Still three minutes and 29 seconds. If Bowling Green can get a quick three and out, get the ball back, there's still an opportunity for points before half. Need a stop here if you're Bowling Green. We'll see what this... Oh, high snap. Salter gets a hold of it. And then the give up to the 38-yard hey, hey, line. Go. Not flies time. out. That's Quentin Cooley on the carry. Almost a disaster there. We get a stop and play. Three thirteen to go, and a timeout call by Bowling Green. So obviously, as you're talking about it, trying to get that initial stop, buy some clock, and get the ball back with a chance to score. Yeah, that's exactly Second right. Second try, timeout. Bowling Green, Using these timeouts now so that they can take advantage again of the clock rule where running clock up until the last two minutes, if they can get the ball back even without timeouts, picking up first downs, that clock will go back to stopping after first downs. All right. 
Let's go in the Wayback Machine. Oh, boy. Taylor McCarg, this is your life. Oh, boy. Ten years ago. Look at you. Could Ooh. not believe I got caught on this play. Well, I guess I can <laughs> believe it. I could very much believe it, but I didn't want to get caught. That's a DB. Yeah, we and we scored on the play. That was the the year that Johnny Manziel was suspended for the first half against AM. Had a lead for a, for a long time in that game, and then Johnny comes in, and uh, oh, we didn't have the lead anymore. So when is the uh, Taylor McCarr Please documentary? The game yeah, no, it's coming. It's coming. I'm, I'm uh, producing, directing. Okay, other, good. Uh, it's just me. So. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Can't wait for it. Send me a Thank copy. You. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be on VHS? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, second and eight from the 38. Two back set, Vaughn Blue and Quentin Cooley back there with Salter. But Salter's looking to throw pressure, steps out. And buy some time. That looks like a face mask, and it is. Two flags thrown. But Salter goes to the sideline. A little extra words. That'll be a face mask. 15 yards in favor of Liberty. I believe this was number 38, Dier Kelly. Yeah. And Bowling Green does Personal everything foul. right on face this mask. play. Defense number 38. Except, except the end. Dier Kelly will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Oh, he's got right him. there. Oh. It would have been a third and long opportunity to get off the field. But that goes back to just the challenges that Caden Salter presents. It's a dead play. They were trying to work the field. It was covered up. Good coverage by the Bowling Green secondary. But when you've got a quarterback that's that mobile, good things tend to happen. 12 carries, 68 yards for Caden Salter. The sophomore out of Cedar Hills, Texas. We've got the start over the senior, Jonathan Bennett. First and 10 from the 48. That's Quinton Cooley, who continues to churn some yards down to the 42-yard line for Cooley. Cedar Hill High School that Caden Salter played at that you mentioned. That's where Joey McGuire, the longtime head coach that is now leading Texas Tech, really a, a bright surprise for the Red Raiders. So we'll see them later today on, against Wyoming. And Cooley, eight carries for 34 yards. Second and six from the 44. Little motion. Salter will swing pass to the left. That's Bedgood down the left side. Well designed play for Liberty. First down, Flames. And this is schemed up to create leverage on the outside. You're making that defender run the hump through the rest of the defense and clear all that traffic in man to man. The play design early from Coach Chadwell and offensive coordinator, co offensive coordinator Willie Korn and Isaac Newton. Newland, excuse me. Really have been impressed with that all first half. Well, Sir Isaac Newton is here. We got some issues. <laughs> first and 10 on the gain of 11. That's Cooley now. Left side. Turning. Going to give him four with 1.45 to go. And they say fumbled. They say Cooley fumbled, and so Bowling Green Cooley comes away with it. Fumble recovered by Bowling Green. First and 10, Bowling Green. So Jalen Husky, the sophomore from Gaithersburg, Maryland, grabs the fumble. And it'll be Bowling Green ball. Opportunity for Bowling Green. That is huge for Bowling Green and makes up for that penalty that we saw earlier in this possession. Exactly what they needed. The Still plenty of time. Minute, 45 seconds. Take a look at the top of the screen. Please. And we see this ball come Thank out before a knee goes down. A lot of bodies in there. The, the challenge here is going to be that looks like that goes out before the right knee comes down. We got a good angle of it there. That's a nice. And to me, again, as it was called a fumble on the field, matches up with what we just saw there. I think this call will stand if they do take a look at it. It's a nice forearm shiver from Dontrez Brown to cause the fumble. And they're going to take a look as well with 1.45 to go. Opportunity now for Bowling Green, who had 65 yards on their first five drives and then 65 yards on their last drive. And one more look at it. You'll see the ball come out right there just before that right knee comes down. And they say play on. Play on. Bowling Green ball. First and 10 for the 29. 145 to go. Bazelak. Straight drop. Middle. Got a man. Overthrows it and picked off. Third pick of the game for Bazelak. Quinton Reese on the interception. Boy, Bazelak. That's three overthrows, Taylor. And he had Harold Fannin Jr. for the tight end wide open. The throw is there to be made. 
Get another look at it. On the left side of the screen, number 44, it's a stop and go, and it's wide open. Chick, I think you could go out there and make that throw. That is really frustrating. If you're a Bowling Green fan, these are unforced errors, and right after you get a gift, your defense bails you out, you get a fumble thrown right back to the defense. Well, Britton Reese on that Conference USA preseason watch list. I'm not sure how to take that, by the way. Chick, I can make that throw. <laughs> I, did, I have faith in you. I did play junior college ball, but I don't think that would happen. All right, first and 10 now, so back-to-back -back turnovers. First and 10 from the 38. Salter looking for more. Steps up. He's got some room and wings one down the right side. Down to the 17-yard line. Treyon Sidley was there for the reception. He's just making so much happen off schedule. Talking about Caden, Caden Salter. There's pressure in his face. Another opportunity for Bowling Green to get a stop in the backfield. Evades the first defender. Keeps his eyes downfield. Delivers the ball on time. And, man, really impressive first half from Caden Salter. Number 21 with a 21-yard gain. Billy Lucas now in the backfield. And Lucas with a fake. Up top, Salter. Corner of the end zone. We're going to see out of bounds. Intended for Bentley Hanshaw. Again, don't forget now, the final two minutes of the half, both halves, the clock will stop Officials on first downs. For an injured defender. And incompletions. We've got an injured Bowling Green player in that corner of the end zone with 1.20 to go. And so Liberty with a chance to regroup here. Jalen Husky, who made the big play on the fumble recovery, sophomore from Gaithersburg, Maryland, will limp back to that sideline. So first year for Jamie Chadwell in Conference USA. Throughout his scouting, he'll have to look at some guys. Pretty good. Austin Reed, one of the best quarterbacks really in all of college football. He stepped in nicely for Bailey Zappi. That Western Kentucky offense just so high-powered. Hank Bachmeyer, that was a big get for La Tech from Boise State. Uh, they're hoping he a little more improved play from last week. They're down big right now to SMU. Kendy Charles out today, uh, unfortunate for Liberty. And then Praise Amahule from UTEP, really disruptive player, second all-time at UTEP in career sacks. Some of the better players to keep an eye out for in Conference USA. We'll see Bailey Zappi, USF in Western Kentucky, coming up next here on the CBS Sports Network. Bomb blue in the backfield along with Billy Lucas now. Second and 10 from the 17, 120 to go. A little play action, Salter steps up. He's got room and he's fast. Smart move, slides down at the 12-yard line. Smart is right. Got two defenders there. Made a few yards. You picked up a few here. You're not going to make everybody miss. Glad to see him just get down right here. That's smart. He took a couple shots earlier that we thought, hey, maybe just get down there. Learning from it as the game goes along. I'm sure Jamie Chadwell has been in his ear a little bit about that. We don't need to take all the shots. Joseph Ship. Sip with the stop now. Lucas in the backfield. 44 seconds to go. Third and seven. Salter right up the gut. Once again, gets pulled down. That kind of looked like a face mask. But they're not going to call it. Now we've got some fisticuffs. Evan Branch Haynes on the stop, the nose tackle, out of Richmond, California. Did he grab it? It looked like it could have been I think some of the liberties. Okay. Well, it's not horse collar because it's from the front and really a pretty good play. Okay. So fourth and seven. Nice play. From the 11, 33 seconds to go. What does Jamie Chadwell do here? I think you take advantage. Number 55 of the defense had his helmet come off during play. Because the clock was running with under a minute to go, usually that would include a 10-second runoff. However, Bowling Green has elected to use a timeout to avoid the runoff. Timeout, Bowling Green. And Scott Leffler looking for a little more time here with 33 seconds to go, perhaps get that ball back. Yeah, it benefits Liberty to get to have a conversation about this. What do we, what do you think here, Jamie Chadwell? Go for it or try and get another three on the board, continue that momentum into half. Well, back and forth here at this back end of this second quarter with turnovers. Bazelak, if you're the coach at halftime, what are you telling them? I think they're, they're, 
has to be a, at least a conversation around what does it look like to, to go with Camden North, the backup. And the three first half turnovers, and a lot of that you can point directly back to Bazelak and just not delivering the ball on time. Some of it was also decision making. That last one, though, that just comes down to standing in there and delivering the ball. And Bowling Green, outside of those turnovers, really hasn't played that bad. Uh, that's just been the Achilles heel. And their defense fighting their tails off that turnover a second ago got them back in this game. But if they do roll with Bazelak in the second half, clearly have to put an emphasis on taking the football. Bazelak, 4 of 13 for 42 yards. For 25 Scott seconds Leffler. on the play clock following the timeout. No 25, touchdowns, only three picks. And so, at 4th and 4 from the 11, Chadwell says, we're going. Ball blue in the backfield. Caden Salter. Out of the gun. The Bowling Green player stepped across the line. Jimmy Chadwell says, make the call. Now clock ticking down. Salter. Charge timeout. Going to have to call timeout. Liberty. For third and final of the half. And they're ha having seconds. a conversation with Jordan White, the center. That's where there's clearly no play called there. They went out and said, we're going to go hard count. If we get a defender off sides, free play. Jordan White, the center, that's where you've got to have eyes on. If anybody comes across, snap the ball and go. Bowling Green lucky there. Chadwell nonplussed as we take a look at the MAC players to watch this season. Curtis Rourke at Ohio, you saw how important he is to that team last week in week zero when he went down. Daquan Finn, that's one of the best athletes in all of the MAC has a chance to be really special for Toledo. And then two defenders on this Buffalo defense that that team feels like both with Sean Dolock and Marcus Fuqua, either one could be a MAC Defensive Player of the Year type of guy. So Keegan, Keegan Lenderick already with a 36-yard field goal. This one from 28. Kick is up and blocked. Picked away. Here comes Bowling Green with a chance. And with just 26 seconds, Jalen Embry going to go all the way for the score for Bowling Green. And holy moly, what a quick turnaround for Bowling Green. That is the momentum play Bowling Green had to have. All of the turnovers that we've talked about, special teams, saves this Bowling Green team in this first half. One of the things that's a staple of this Scott Leffler team, talked about how important that was. He learned that under Urban Meyer and Frank Beamer. Special team shining there. Long touchdown on the block field goal right before half. What a momentum play for the Falcons. Jalen Embry, Jacksonville, Florida, Jr. What the huge play for Bowling Green. We're going to go into this half down big, but right now it's going to be a 10-point lead with a successful extra point. What a turnaround. Alan Anaya on for the kick. That went up and good with 20 seconds to go. Another look here. Get another look at where the pressure comes off of right through the middle. Credit this Bowling Green kick block team. All the pressure and the effort up front. You can't overstate how important this play is in this first half. About to be down 27 to 7 with three turnovers in the first half. Instead, down just 10. Feels like everything has flipped on its head. Still work to do, but man, what a change in momentum for the Falcons. Well, Scott Leffler and the big meat hook was Donchez Brown, who forced the fumble a series ago and gets the block. And then Jalen Embry takes it to the house. What a turnaround here in Lynchburg. That's just deflating for Liberty. I mean, you have to be feeling so much different if you're a Bowling Green player going into half. This went from, hey, we really haven't done a ton right in the first half, especially on offense, and how are we going to fix that? How does this improve? Now to, hey, it's just a we're just down two scores. It feels a lot different, and they get the ball coming out of half. The kick, low liner. That one's through the legs of one. Here comes from the 15. Victor Venn on the return with 17 seconds to go. This was going to be a 27-10 lead. Now it's 24-14. One more look again at the block off of this right side. 
really there was, looks like two different guys for Bowling Green that had a chance to get this special teams such a priority for Bowling Green and Scott Leffler. We talked to him in meetings this week. Payshawn Wimberly at running back, three block punts in 2022, led the nation. So it's not just on field goal, it's in the punt game as well. Uh, he was worried about it, and it came to fruition. Big college word. 17 seconds to go here in his first half of play. Leffler has to be happy with the way these guys bounce back in the second quarter. Salter, the give. Up to the 32-yard line. And I believe that's going to be the first half of play. So big second quarter for Bowling Green. The end of the first half. Down big three scores. They come back with a touchdown and then a blocked field goal attempt going the other way. Our halftime score. Liberty 24, Bowling Green 14. Stay tuned for the Ram Trucks halftime report after these messages. College football and CBS Sports Network presented by the Home Depot. Get ready for two semifinal showdowns. See who will secure their spot in the NWSL Challenge Cup Championship Wednesday on CBS.